Opera Stranger. My new apprentice. Lorenzo, last name. I'll never join you. Oh, but you already have. Your war with Screen Rant and myself is pushed to the edge. You now swell with hatred for us. Enough to change you to the dark side of the Transformers fandom. Actually, I'm not really at war with Screen Rant anymore. What? Yeah, I'm kind of over it. I mean, it was funny, like, it was a funny bit for a while, people liked it, but... Uh, Scream Rant's actually changed now. They're not as bad as they used to be. And they don't really listen to you anymore, which is a huge W. Oh, shut up then. What about me? Well, I already made a video on you, it kind of stands well enough on its own. Strike me down with all of your hatred, Restrator. No, I kind of already did that. I'm willing to let it go unless you do something absolutely insane. Did you know that Transformers 1 takes place three million years before the Michael Bay movies? <laughs> Uh, also, I'm incredibly racist. Does your what? What? What's up, everybody? This is the Brush Stranger here, and today we're here to talk about the Lorenzo drama. Unfortunately, he's in drama again. I'm just kidding. I love covering this type of stuff. So, Lorenzo essentially is in hot water, as he should be, because turns out he's not a very good person. I don't want anyone to go send hate over to anybody. I'm just here to cover what he said, what's going on, and what it means for Transformers, because at the end of the day, that's all I really care about is the funny robots that turn into cars. Lorenzo went on to say immediately after Josh Cooley made his statement that, oh, it's its own universe. So Transformers 1 is set in its own time, its own universe, it's kind of like the new animated movies, which that's cool, that means they can do sequels without lining it up with the other movies, and Lorenzo just said it takes place three million years before the Bayverse movies. <sighs> Lorenzo comes out with his fury board and a bunch of rubber bands tying all the keys together. See this? It's all it's all the same universe. You see the Bumblebee movie, how it had meteorites at the end? That's just like 07 when Sam saw the meteorites. Lorenzo, that takes place 20 years after the Bumblebee movie. Guys, I don't know why so many people buy into Lorenzo's propaganda, but please, if you see an outrageous article like this, Please double check who actually said it, because if it's Lorenzo, it's false. If it's anyone else, like the director of the movie, or Hasbro themselves, then it's probably true. Do your own research. This is like the time when Lorenzo was asked whether even considering making a G.I. Joe X Transformers movie, and he said, We're dedicated to keeping our promise to the fans. Who are you talking to? What the hell does this have to do with anything? Tell me what's happening! Well, you didn't come to this video for that. You came for the drama. Look at you. So, Lorenzo essentially had an argument, a big old fight with Stephen Cappell Jr. If you don't know who Stephen Cappell Jr. is, he's the director of Transformers Rise of the Beast. And whether you like Rise of the Beast or not, it doesn't really matter, but essentially he had a trilogy in mind, he wanted to do three movies, some spin-offs, and essentially he is no longer working on the Transformers movies. And the reason for that, everyone just assumed, oh, he didn't want to work on the G.I. Joe Transformers movie. They still can't nail down the director, so surprise, surprise, why he wouldn't want to make this god-awful movie. But it goes deeper than that. So, Lorenzo apparently said that in an argument with Steven, when Steven refused to work on this movie, that he was ungrateful and said some racially motivated comments towards him. Now, you could be the biggest Lorenzo sucker of all time, but no matter how you look at that, that's not a good look 
there's no way to twist that to make him look like the good guy or give him plausible deniability. And that's just not okay. He's making your movie. All you have to do is just sit there and be quiet and make sure everything's going ahead all right and market the movie. And you're sitting here and you're saying not very nice things to the man and telling him he's ungrateful for the opportunity he's been given to work on this godsend of a movie. He's acting like he, Stephen Cabell Jr., just turned down working on The Dark Knight. What do you mean you don't want to make this movie? Essentially, Lorenzo just stopped talking, and he said he didn't want to clarify what he meant by the racial comment, because it would hurt the movie. That's enough said about that. Lorenzo, you just need to learn to shut up sometimes. It's not a good look. And, dude, stop trying to pander to old Bayverse fans. Old Bayverse fans don't even really like the newer movies and aren't really interested in stuff like Transformers 1. You can let it just be its own thing. I'm someone who grew up with Transformers during the Bayverse. I watched the first movie when I was 5. I then grew up with Transformers Animated that same year. And I should have a lot of nostalgia for these movies, and I do, but it doesn't need to be connected to these old movies for me to find enjoyment in them. Sometimes I think it's good to kind of, you know, restart and try again with a new story, like, you know, resetting the timeline. It can actually work really well with certain movies. Especially with movie franchises that are interconnected like Transformers was, with a whole five movies across ten years, and the plot of the Bayverse was never really that tight-knit to begin with. It's very convoluted movie to movie, and they constantly wreck on stuff, so it feels like Bumblebee was the perfect chance to start anew and, you know, really experiment with what makes good Transformers movies. A lot of people really loved the Bumblebee movie because it was more grounded, it wasn't so convoluted, it really felt like a fresh start, like the beginning of something. So, maybe give it a try. G.I. Joe just overcomplicates things. Especially with Unicron, the Terracons, the Maximals, the Autobots, the Decepticons. It's already starting to get complicated two movies in. Do we really need more? Also, F you, there's seven meteorites in 87. Lorenzo never passed kindergarten. He can't count.